But today, the movie we'll be talking about is the most talked about movie of the moment. It's no other than Prophet Suddenly from the Stables of the Windows. If you've not yet checked it out, what are you waiting for? Head on to the Windows YouTube channel and check it out. So, let me start off this review by saying I did not expect less from the Windows, considering the fact that the Windows isn't a small film ministry. They are one of the top most gospel film ministries in Nigeria, so I did not expect less. If I had got anything less, it would have been a great shocker. That is by the way, anyway. Moving on to the things I liked about Prophet Suddenly. The first thing I loved about Prophet Suddenly was the message. The message was straight to the point. There were no delays with the message. The message was straight to the point and it was easy to learn. It was easy to figure out and the movie was really straight to the point and direct. There was no cutting corners. They, they, they understood what they wanted to deliver and they went in straight for it and it eased our, uh, our screen time. I mean, the message was unique. It was great. It was like the need of the hour, uh, considering the fact that in our present day world today, um, a lot of people just want to jump into ministry without uh, passing through the process. Everyone wants to skip the process and arrive at the glory. So it was really a great and a timely message. Next in I loved about Prophet Suddenly was the cinematography. It was beautiful to watch. It made it easier for us to watch and relate and connect because it was a beauty to behold. Anyway, I did not expect less from the windows. The windows are heavy on cinematography and we've seen that over the years from their works. They are heavy on cinematography. So this wasn't less and uh, the, the standard was maintained. So the cinematography was beautiful. The drone shots were beautiful and, and they were placed just right in the right places. They were placed in the right places. Next in was the color grading and the editing. The transitions were okay, the cuts were okay, and um, the editing was just perfect. The special effects, they were professionally done. The theme song, the sound effects, they were placed in the right places. The theme songs rhymed with each of the scenes where they were placed. So it was a great and uh, it was a great one. Now to the acting, everyone did well with their roles. Everyone brought on their A game. There was there's no one that was a mediocre actor. Everyone was great on set. Uh, kudos to Mio Kukusheshe, Laurel, who played Mio Kukusheshe. She was brilliant and she was phenomenal. She was fantastic. She did a great job as Mio Kukusheshe. I didn't expect less, anyways, because I've seen a couple of her works over over the years. Her works with the windows. She's not new with the windows, so I've seen a couple of her works. So this isn't an exception. She was able to maintain the standard with Mio Kukusheshe. Each of the cast did their job or did, did a brilliant job in interpreting their roles. Now to the choice of casting. The choice of casting was just appropriate. They did a great job in the casting, except for one of the characters, which I'll be talking about later on. They did a great job. The casting director really did a great job. And also the directing of the film, the, the film was well directed. You can tell from the end product that the film was well directed. It was well screenplayed as well. The story developed well. The plot was okay as well. So it was a great package. It was a great package and it was easily, it was easy to understand and it was easily relatable. It was an intentional project. The sound was also okay. I heard everything without having to strain. Each of the scenes were clear. I heard everything. The sound was so clear. I, I did not struggle to hear anything from start to finish. The message was so clear. And I heard everything from each of the scenes. So the sound engineer and the sound recordist did a great job. Moving on to my observations on Prophet Suddenly, first of which is the suspense. I wish the director did more on the suspense of the movie. There are some informations I wanted to find out myself, but rather than being told through soundtracks and um, sound and special effects. Take for instance the scene where Mio Kukusheshe was shown on the highway for the first time. I think one of the first scenes of the movie. She was shown on the highway and then immediately they began to play the horror soundtrack at the background and immediately I knew the lady was evil. So there are some informations I wish I could find out myself as I watched the movie. So I wish Prophet suddenly had um, was suspense filled. No, but it was a kind of uh, free of suspense. There wasn't much suspense in Prophet suddenly. You know, the sound effects were quick to tell me what will happen next, which I felt like would have been a bit toned down a bit. I wanted to find out some things myself as I watched the movie rather than being told easily with soundtracks or sound effects. In other words, the sound effects were a bit too much and they told too much. Next thing I observed with Prophet suddenly was the scene where Mio Kukusheshe appears to uh, Michael and CK in the bar scene and her shadow or her image rather is shown on the mirror, on the physical mirror in the bar. 
you know, she being a spirit, I feel her image shouldn't reflect on the mirror of the bar. Because if her image reflects on the mirror in the bar, then that makes her physical. That makes her uh, human that everyone can see. So I just felt like her image isn't supposed to, it isn't appropriate for me or uh, image to show on any your mirror to reflect on any mirror no matter what also in the church scene where pastor michael was um, doing his gimmicks and and all uh, and display and all i just felt like if me or kuku Sheshe would have been made to sit on a throne in front of the church would have been better it would express more of her dominance over the environment than her sitting on the floor uh, she was made to sit on the floor i just felt like just a contribution i felt like if she had sat on a chair or on a throne it would have expressed more of her dominance in the atmosphere than sitting on the ground on the bare ground as we all know from the movie she is a powerful goddess so i don't think she would want to sit on the ground uh, it wouldn't be good to portray her sitting on the ground I felt like it would have been better if she had sat on a, tr a throne in front of the church. Also, I, I want to urge the Winlows to pay more attention on their costumes in their movies. I think that's where it's kind of a bit lacking. I wish they pay more attention to their costumes. You know, in the scene where you can see on the poster of the film, you can see Michael, Pastor Michael or Prophet Michael putting on the real regalia of a prophet. And then in the movie itself, in the entire movie he never dressed like a prophet even for once like you know the way these fake prophets behave we can tell that they, they are they really they are really heavy on their adornments they want to look make believe they want to look physically like a prophet so they are not easily doubted so i wish like they went a kind of with a little of how he appeared on the poster he should have looked like that also in the movie to really express his character to give that his character an esp expression of a fake prophet or of a prophet him as the main character i i felt like his costumes should have been uptight like they shouldn't have had if uh they shouldn't they shouldn't joke with any of his costumes him as the main character because the whole story lies on him i felt like his costumes were too casual sometimes he was putting on t-shirts sometimes native wear semi-native wear and all that it didn't really depict him as a prophet as that prophet suddenly like it's supposed to also for the costume of the honorable her gown seems too plain i needed her to appear in a lace and um uh, jewelry and also her pa the costume wasn't really depicting that of a pa to a honorable their makeups were okay but their costumes were so plain and casual for a honorable and the honorable's p so i felt like the costumes were a bit inappropriate for some of these characters also there were a little bit of continuity issues here and there um there was a scene where michael went for an interview and then after the interview he came out with an entirely different costume or different clothes rather also um there was a scene where michael left ck in the bar and went back to his family he was wearing a different costume when he was with michael in the bar and then when he went back home to his family he was putting on he was putting on an entirely different costume so i felt like there were little um continuity issues here and there which um should be corrected next time also i just felt like this is just a personal observation i just felt like uh, there should be uh, there should have been a point of contact or a point of contact between uh mio kuku Sheshe and michael she, probably she should have given him a ring or he should have held a staff or something that when he calls to um she would appear or something like that uh, rather than him just calling her name or calling out on her name and then she appears from nowhere i just felt like the way these things we normally see it there should have been a little point of contact like a rings maybe rings in his fingernails that when he calls or he wears all the time that if when he wants her to appear he brings out and then she appears um, so, uh, sort of also i also felt like when michael and michael's son died i just felt like him being a top pastor um the people that would be in the house mourning wouldn't have only been him and his wife and ck and one person or a friend to joy i just felt like there would have been more people of church members or journalists coming to interview him on the death of his 
only someone since he's a public figure and he's a popular man of God in town. Also, I felt like the ladies who were confessing to Joy that her husband, Michael, has been sleeping with them. I felt like the direction at which they were looking at wasn't, wasn't straight or wasn't at Joy when they were confessing. I felt like they were not in the same place as Joy, seeing the fact that seeing the fact that they were their eye contact wasn't um, straight at Joy. They were looking somewhere in an opposite direction or in a different direction rather and joy also wasn't really looking at the same direction with the, all the ladies that were confessing at the end of the day i was blessed by the movie head on to the windows channel to check it out thank you very much subscribe bye for now